gang, what's up? Tamer over at Fort City. Uh, wanted to talk today about one of the biggest losses I ever had. You know, one of those things you look back on, you're just like, man, what in the hell was I thinking? <laughs> So I'm going to take you back to the year, it was 1989, and this is when David Robinson had just finished up with the Naval Academy and had been drafted by the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, David Robinson was a surefire, couldn't miss, dominant big man that, you know, everybody thought was going to go on to, uh, to be one of the best that ever played. And if you look back on his career, he certainly would probably be in the top 10, 15 uh, centers that ever played. He had a fantastic career. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean um, good things are going to happen if you buy the wrong assets um, with that are not very scarce at the wrong time. Like an injured young fawn who's been nursed back to health, who's finally going to be re-released into the wilderness. Sorry. In 1989, I had just gotten back into sports card collecting. Something I did as a kid, um, you know, back when uh, Michael Jordan you know, came out of UNC and was a rookie. Um, I bought some pro basketball cards, ha had had put them away. Um, they were pretty much worthless at the time. You know, when I took my uh, basketball cards to my friend's house, you know, they all had baseball and football and, you know, they kind of thought it was silly that I had basketball cards. Um, so fast forward a few years and we're in 89. Um, one of my buddies actually had called me and said, hey, you know, those Michael Jordan cards you had, they're actually worth some good money. And didn't really believe him at first, but I went to, uh, went to his house and we pulled out one of those Beckett monthly magazines that showed how much cards were worth. And lo and behold, you know, it was worth three to $500. And I, I couldn't believe it at the time. Wow, <laughs> that's really loud. Yeah, thanks. So we went over to the card shop called Extra Innings. Um, there's a guy there that worked there named Steve, and I had a whole sheet of these Michael Jordan cards. I walk in there, I've got these nine Michael Jordan rookies. Um, they're worth, you know, between three to 500 bucks. <laughs> and I look in the, the display case and he's got the new David Robinson rookies. And this was 1989 hoops. Um, so when I saw these, I'm like, hmm, you know what, maybe I should just trade one of these Michael Jordans and, you know, kind of parlay that into a bunch of David Robinsons. And it's, you know, by the time I'm 50, I'm not going to have to work. Right. <laughs> Hello. I do this. I work this deal out. Um, the David Robinsons at the time were selling for like 30 bucks. Right. So he wound up giving me 12 David Robinson, 89 hoops cards for one Michael Jordan 86 87 career. Now, again, I told you I didn't know a whole lot about um, how important centering was on cards and things like that back then. Um, I look at the 12 David Robinsons uh, I got, and they probably would grade about a PSA five or six if I was lucky. I mean, they are just absolute trash. <laughs> um, I mean, today they're probably worth maybe a dollar or two. Come on. Ah! I gave him the 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 sheet and had you know nine nine different Jordans on there. He went through them, and I I, I wake up sometimes at night thinking about it because I, I looked over there when I was looking at these David Robinsons, and he was just studying those cards, and he wound up taking the very best one, at least to him, and he he knew a lot more than I did at that time, and I'm I'm, I'm sure the one that he grabbed. Um, was the best of the bunch, right? I graded those during the pandemic and I had, I think five left, um, all of which are gone but one now. Um, but I had uh, PSA eight was the highest grade that I got. I had actually three PSA eights and the rest were PSA sixes. So the one that he got out of there I'm almost guaranteeing you was at a minimum a nine, but it 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 could have been an elusive ten. You know they, they're not that uncommon. Um, so when you look at that and you understand saying the magnitude of where that Michael Jordan would be today versus 
um, the pile of trash, David Robinson's. Um, again, nothing against David Robinson's career. He was a fantastic center, um, but they printed a metric on of those 89 Duke Spars. Damn it. Wait. Wait, what, what does that mean exactly? So this is the 1986-87 Fleer Michael Jordan. It's an iconic card. It wasn't necessarily crazy short printed. It's just a, not a lot of people collected them back then. And they're also very condition sensitive, especially around the center. And what we'll also take a look at is the David Robinsons I traded for. We are gathered here together to join Franklin and Marissa. Don't do it. <coughs> These are the actual David Robinson 1989 hoops cards that I've traded for. Again, you can still see the $30 sticker on the card. So obviously that meant they must be worth $30. <laughs> but honestly, this this right now is a pile of trash. It's, it's just not worth anything. Um, and you can also see if the cards are not very well centered. This is the Beckett uh, magazine. Now this isn't the exact Beckett that we looked at. Um, this was probably maybe even a year or so later. Um, but this is where the David Robinson, you know, was listed um, at, at $30, you can see right here. Um, and this is where the Michael Jordan uh, was listed. Right? So this is the Michael Jordan, um, you know, average grade 350, um, up to $500. Sorry, your, your seatbelt seems to be broken. What do you recommend I do? And if we go to today, and we, we, you know, we look at the prices and the delta between the two. Um, you know, this is these numbers that you're looking at right here. They're off the PWCC website, um, but th this was during the, the the pandemic, right? So if you look closely there, you're back in 2021. So again, these these cards are not worth anywhere near that today. However, a PSA nine, um, again, and that's conservative, was in the $77,000 range. Um, but again, we're looking at the PSA 10 pandemic highs, half a million dollars, half a million dollars. Now, again, I don't know that that would have created the 10. Um, that's why I gave you the nine, because I think that's a little more conservative. But if it was a 10, that's the kind of money um, you know I lost. You're talking about half a million dollars versus- I own six speaker cities. I'm worth three and a half million dollars that the government knows about. If you look where they are today, um, they are a lot cheaper than that. This is about where we're at today on a PSA 9. So you see that pandemic um, or the crash after the pandemic has taken these down to about, you know, anywhere from 19 to 15,000. You will see these oscillate quite a bit. Um, they're, like I said, they're very condition sensitive and not all, you know, PSA 9s or PSA 8s or whatever are created the same. Uh, people look for very specific things, uh, especially the centering on the Jordans. Now, if you look today, at uh, we're going to sort this by sold date so we're going to go down to what the current 10 sell for um, we're looking at about still anywhere from 170 to 180 there's one almost two hundred thousand dollars again they all are slightly different you're buying the card not always the grade uh, but again a massive card and uh, it would have been nice to be able to go back in time and stop that trade sorry 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 drop down and you give me 10 now so you don't win them all. Um, actually, you probably lose a lot more um, than you do win. And, you know, that's, that, that's part of the speculation game, too. I was speculating on uh, up and coming talent, Dave Robinson. Um, sometimes you got to go with the tried and true. And uh, again, I think there's different angles that people like to uh, invest for. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit us up if you have any questions or comments. Uh, if you just want to uh, say hey or make fun of us, that's, that works too. But anyways, thanks for listening. Um, give us a like. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Blue! Yes, sir. Do you trust that I do not want to see you die here tonight? Sir, yes, sir. Blue, you're my boy! Oh. <laughs>